Let's talk about sewing with conductive thread. So I've gathered some supplies here. I have my conductive thread, which is this spool right here. I have my needle, scissors, and I just grabbed a couple things that you're gonna be likely sewing into, like this battery holder and the snap. These are both supplies you'll find for the e-bracelet project. When it comes to sewing other projects, like the human sensor project, you'll be sewing into other components. But these will be a good demonstration. The first thing I need to do is thread the needle. We will be double threading the needle, which just means you pull your length of thread halfway. Before I even get to that, though, I should thread the needle. That is, That means to get the thread into, you can kind of see the little eye of the needle right there. I need to get thread through it. I look at my thread and I notice it's a bit frayed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like um, clip it so it's less frayed. And another thing I'm going to do, and this is gonna be off camera, I'm going to actually uh, dab it with some of my saliva to keep the end of that thread from fraying more as I try to engage this. So I have that thread, I'm gonna keep it pretty tight between my um, thumb and forefinger right there. So just a little bit is visible. And I'm going to do my best to thread the eye by just looking at a little piece of thread and then pulling it through. I sometimes have to try like four or five times. If you find yourself trying four or five times to thread your needle, that's super okay, that's normal. It comes with some practice. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, pull out a length of thread. I usually do like an arm length. You can probably do a little bit less since we're doing uh, e-bracelets, you don't need that much. So I'm just gonna do, pull it out a couple feet and clip it. All right. Now I can do the double threading. So I'm gonna knot it. So the two ends of thread, I'm gonna tie those two into a knot. And I want that what the knot is gonna do is it's gonna be an anchor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like a fisherman's knot, which is where you put the, the, the length through like a couple times. And you pull it tight. So it should create this nice little knot at the end. After I have that secured knot, I do want to clip those two uh, tails, the two ends of the thread. So I'm gonna clip it right above the knot. The reason I do that is because these little tails can like touch each other and create short circuits. All right, so now I have this. I pull my needle to where it's like halfway. So now I have this length of thread I have my knot, which has been trimmed. So I can begin. So um, let's say I'm putting a snap in this corner. On the e-bracelet project, you will be doing snaps in the corners. And I always like to start at the snap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first just gonna come up through the material about where I want the snap. So I might as well place the snap. And I'm gonna come up on the other side so I'm gonna come up through, I'm gonna to try to come through one of the holes in the snap. Okay, there we go. I pull it, I make sure it's tight by checking the back. And what I'm gonna do for the uh, snaps is I'm just gonna thread it on the outside of the snap about halfway between the holes. Oops, sometimes it catches. Make sure it's pulled tight. I'm gonna repeat that process for all four holes. So threading up through the hole, now down through halfway on the outside of the snap between the holes, halfway between the holes. Sometimes things like this happen, that's okay. I'm just gonna gently kind of massage and work with the thread to make sure I can pull it taut. You wanna be always checking the front and back of your project to make sure that thread is remaining taut, not loopy. If it's loopy, those loops can cause some serious issues mostly short circuits, and also a lack of like structure and strength. So we want to avoid them at all costs. Pulling it, making sure it's taut on both sides as I go. Let's see. Make sure it's everything's tight, not loopy. 
Okay, so now I've gone through, and I've gone through all four holes of the snap in a way where that snap is now pretty secure and it's also been sewn through at least three times. Remember, three is our magic number for sewing through components. It's been sewn through four times, which means it's going to have a good connection to the thread. Okay, let's say I'm gonna put my battery holder over here. This is not an e-bracelet. This is just a demonstration project. Um, let's say that this snap is gonna be, let's say I just wanna to go to the negative on the battery. So I'm gonna start sewing and I'm gonna to try to come over to this corner Let's say that's where I designated my battery holder. Um, on your projects, it's always best to like write down on your project where things are gonna go. And I can go ahead and even demonstrate that. Let's see, I know I want my battery to be right there. And that the minuses are gonna be here, the pluses here. Extra labeling is extra good. So now I'm gonna start what's called a running stitch. And we have a video about running stitches by Kicktronic that you can also refer to. But basically, you just make a dotted line with your thread. You pull up, you go like a centimeter or two over, and then you go back down through. This is the slow, even way of doing it, of just like always pulling up and pulling down. Again, make sure as you go, you're always double checking the front and back to make sure all those stitches are tight. Okay, a faster way to do this, if you're feeling more confident, is you can bring your needle up through and you can actually like go through behind and in front a few times. So if you just noticed, I just put my needle through that many times. I can pull it through and that's a little bit faster right? you see. I do, I did end up getting a loop right there. That means my thread didn't pull evenly. So I'm just going to actually use my fingernail to try tugging on both of the thread bits. There, and that one fixed it. Resetting my needle so that it's taut. Okay, I'm at my component. So I'm going to go ahead and line up my component with my drawing. And remember, for sewing through components, we always want to go through three times. So I'm just going to go through the hole. and then sew through the outside of the hole. On components, we often call those holes pins. So up through it. Hmm. Sometimes it hates me. That's a thing you might also feel as you do these projects, and that's okay. For beginning sewers, it's definitely, it can be kind of frustrating and difficult. And it's really hard because I'm trying to look at it through the camera instead of looking at it through my eyes. So that might just help. Yeah, there we go. Make sure again, you're always pulling the loops super tight. You never want, I mean, the stitch is super tight. You never want any loops, loops are bad. I see I got a little bit tangled here. I can use like the butt of my needle to kind of help it. Looks like I have some loops there. So I'm just gonna pull each of my thread so it becomes tight. Hmm, it's still not becoming tight. Ooh, this will be a good demonstration for showing you what to do next. If you have a loop that you can't just pull through, use your needle to bring that loop out a bit. Okay, like I've just done. And you can try pulling it through again. I just make those threads even by pulling my needle against them. And I'll try pulling again through, and that worked, that fixed it. Again, I need to get through it three times. So here's my third stitch. Ah, uh, and through, nice. Okay, let's say that this is the end of my line. So what I'm gonna do is I need to finish it. So my favorite way of finishing off a line is a stitch that already exists, I'll use this one. Just go under that stitch with your needle, pull it until you have a small loop. So here I have a small loop. Do a fisherman's knot through that loop, or actually just do just do a single knot. So I just do a single knot there, I pull it tight. I'm gonna do that one more time. So I just do two single knots at the end of my, at the end of my stitch and I always connect it. And then I wanna trim it. So again, always trim very close to the knot. 
and there. Nice. This is pretty good. My stitches are more or less even. They do not need to be super pretty. The important thing is that all of my uh, stitches are very flat. They're not loopy. My knots are very flat. They're not, they don't have tails flopping all over the place. So that is your quick introduction into sewing using a snap and a battery holder. Thanks for tuning in.